In this lesson, we're going to take a look at a question from a student in my Spring Boot introduction course. If you'd like to take this course for 50% off, please grab the coupon code below. And with that, let's take a look at the question. Okay, we're back and we're going to take a look at this question. So the question is simply this, how can I create multiple request mappings for a single method? And to do this, we're going to just create a brand new project and look at this from scratch. So here I'm going to create a new project using the Spring Initializer. It's going to be called Multiple Request Mappings. And we're going to have a Maven project, JAR, 1.8, and Java. Click Next. We're just going to select the web dependency. And finally, we're going to call this MRM. That's good to go. So we're just starting from base, real basic scratch here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our main package here and we're going to create a new controller. And we're going to call this home controller. And this is going to be a rest controller. And we're going to create a method here. So public string home. And this is just going to return a string. We'll say hello world. Now the question is, how could I create two different request mappings for this? So let's say I wanted a request mapping for just the slash, and then I wanted another request mapping um, for maybe slash home. So if we try and do that with two annotations here and hover over this, it's going to tell us that duplicate annotation, the declaration of request mapping, does not have valid repeatable annotation. So Basically, we can only use one request mapping. Uh, if you were to jump in the documentation, you can actually see that you can actually provide a list for values. So if we wanted to come in here, we can say value. And now what we can do is declare one or more uh, request mappings. So I'm going to declare that one, then just a comma, and now we'll declare slash home. So now it should accept either slash or slash home and run to the home method here in our home controller. So let's go ahead and start that up and let's see if it works. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. Localhost 8080. And now if we go to just localhost 8080, we're getting our home hello world message. And now if we also go to home, we also get the same hello world. So this is just a quick tip on how to use multiple request mappings for a single method. And I really hope this helped you out. Guys, if you're not already enrolled, please get that coupon below and join my spring introdu introduction course. You're going to learn a lot of cool stuff like this and much, much more. Over 12 hours of content, and I really think you're going to like it. So please sign up. Uh, outside of that, if you have any questions, anything you'd like me to kind of do on this channel, please leave me some comments below. I like your feedback, good or bad, so leave it there. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.